very good morning students i am r gunita assistant professor department of tri rmd engineering college so in today's session we are going to study about some of the basics about the operational ampli amplifiers so some of the basic things we are going to see today so regarding the off ramp so before getting into the off ramp symbol you must know one thing so whenever we are considering about the linear uh, integrated circuits they are used in a number of electronic applications such as uh, the field of audio and radio communications uh, medical electronics instrumentation control etc so in these domain linear integrated circuits has been used so far so these are all uh, some of the main applications that to electronic applications so an important uh, linear ic uh, is an operational amplifier and it is uh, Uh, commonly referred to as op amp that is operational amplifier very right? good students an important linear integrated circuits that is an important linear ic is an operational amplifier it is commonly referred to as op amp okay so op amp means operation amplifier so let me show the circuit a basic circuit symbol now so now you can able to see my screen student so here you have the symbol of operational amplifier so in this it has two input terminals this operational amplifier is having two input terminals and it is having one output terminal so regarding the input terminal so this is inverting input terminal you have a minus polarity right so this terminal is called inverting input terminal and this polarity is called non inverting input terminal Okay, so we have two terminals over here, right? V minus and V plus, through which we can able to provide the supply to that particular operation amplifier. So this is the basic symbol. So in this diagram, the terminal with the negative sign is called as inverting input terminal. The terminal with a negative sign is called as inverting input terminal, and the terminal with a positive sign is called as non-inverting input. Terminal. so the symbols v plus and v minus are the power supply terminals and are connected to two dc voltage sources so this is mandatory you must know about the symbol of operation amplifier so in this regard uh, the v plus pin we have right in the operation amplifier that is connected to positive terminal of the one source and v minus pin is connected to the negative terminal of the other source the two sources can be 15 volt batteries each so in general the power supply voltages may range from about plus or minus 5 volt to plus or minus 22 volt but in this regard we can go for 15 volt battery each so here i have a circuit diagram how i am providing the supply to the operational amplifier so these are all the input terminals pin number 2 and 3 and 7 and 4 are the power supply terminal pin number 6 is the output terminal So this V plus and V minus is connected to 15 volt battery each. 15 is connected to 15 volt battery each. Each terminal is connected to 15 volt battery. So and this is the equivalent uh, symbol, symbolic representation of your operation amplifier. So the common terminal of the V plus and V minus of the source has been connected to the ground. So you have here one fifteen volt battery you have, and here one fifteen volt battery you have. So the common point must be connected to the ground. You may have a question why it has to be grounded. If it is not grounded, what will happen? You have to think. Okay. If it is not grounded, means what will happen is twice the supply voltage will be applied, and it may damage the op amp. For that purpose only, we are providing the ground over here. Okay. okay. Now. What are all the available packages we have regarding operational amplifier? We have to know there are uh, uh, three uh, popular packages available generally: metal can packages, metal can packages are uh, generally called as PO packages, and dual end package. Dual end package is precisely called as DIP pack, DIP, and the third package is flat package. Okay, so these are three packages available. current scenario the widely used very popular type of ic number is regarding this operational amplifier is ma741 which is the 8 pin ic 
it is available it may be an 8 pen or 10 pen and this ma721 is available in vip package as well as in the flat pack package this ma747 also is available actually uh this ma747 it's nothing but ul741 so simply i ma741 is the operational amplifier whenever we are suggesting suggesting or using uh, ME727, it is a dual 741 operational amplifier IC and it can be available in a 10 pin CAN package or a 14 pin VIP package. Here I have the diagrammatic representation of some of the packages of your uh, IC that is operational amplifier IC students. Now, here I have a, a diagrammatic representation of a TO package. Here it is nothing but dual in line, uh, dual in line, a plastic package representation, and this is ceramic flat package. And here I have the op amp pen configuration for a TO5 metal can packages. Okay, so for this only I have an op amp pen configuration. So it is actually an 8 pin IC. Pit number one is the offset null. Pin number two is the inverting input pin number three is non-inverting input pin number four and the pin number seven or the supply and pin number five is the offset null pin number six is the output and pin number eight is no connection this is actually the eight pin configuration that two po five metal can packages one second students so now as i told you your IEC, operational amplifier IEC, it's available in 8 pin DIP model and also 10 pin flat pack model. So, if it is an 8 pin model, pin number 1 is the offset null, pin number 2 is the inverting input, pin number 3 is the non inverting input, pin number 4 is the V minus, that is the supply voltage, pin number 5 is the offset null, pin number 6 is the output, pin number 7 is again a supply. And pin number eight is no connection. Similarly, we have a 10 pin flat pack model also regarding this IC71. Now, we are going to see what all the manufacturers available for this linear ICs we have to think. Okay. So, each manufacturer uses a specific code and assigns a specific type of number for each and every IC. For example, MA741. MA means identifying the initial which is used by the Fairchild. So Fairchild is a company that is manufacturing the MA741. 741 is a common number for the operational amplifier where the MA representing Fairchild company. Similar way, if it is a national company, LM, LH, LF, TVA. So regarding this national company, you are... Uh, Operational amplifier IC can be generated as LM741. That 741 is common for the operational amplifier and the LM is depicted for the company perspective. Similarly, similar way, if you take example for a Texas instrument, it can be represented as SL. So SL52741. Here also 741 is representing the operational amplifier and this SN52 is the code which is given by the Texas instrument. So listen students. 741 is a common number for all the operations, but the prefix as if it's only will we decide which company has manufactured this. RCA, Texas Instruments, Signatex, Burground, uh, and the Motorola are the top manufacturers for this uh, IC741. And here, the number which is available in the brackets or the IC is manufactured by some other manufacturers for their use. Uh, they retain the original type of the number of the IC along with the identified initials. So, these are available. And regarding, we have even it is IC741 uh, after uh, that is uh, post fixing. After post fixing, some of the classes we can able to fix which which class class of IC it is, for which grade it has been used, like that we can declare. We know very well that 741, it is representing the uh, IC, that is operational amplifier IC. 
Okay, so generally 741 is represented, uh, followed by a company symbol. It is nothing but a military graded off amp. So operating temperature range is about minus 65 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius. Similarly, if it is IC 741C means it is commercial graded off amp. It is operating temperature range up to 0 degrees Celsius to 70 or 75 degrees Celsius. 741A and 741E are improved versions of 741. It is having the better electrical specifications. Similarly, the 741S, it's a military, military graded for amp with highest new rate. Similarly, 741SE is a commercial graded off amp with higher new rate. So, like this, we can able to fix the grade of the IC741. Now, we are going to see about the ideal operation amplifier. Okay, we are going to see about the ideal or uh, ideal operation amplifier. So, generally, you know the symbol of the op amp. So, two input terminals will be having and one output terminal will be having. So, here, since it is an ideal operation amplifier, we are going to assume that no current is flowing. So, I1 is equal to 0, I2 is equal to 0. So, the difference between the two currents, V2 minus V1, it is also 0. So, the difference between the two input voltages can be denoted as V. So, that is 0 over here. Since it is an ideal op-amp, we are assuming like that. We have an equivalent circuit of the op-amp. So, this is the equivalent circuit of the operation amplifier. Okay. So, here... And this is the input terminal V1. This is the input terminal. So, if it is V1, what symbol we have? Plus symbol we have. Plus symbol, uh, if we have means what is this terminal? It is called as non-inverting terminal. So, minus symbol we have means it is an inverting input terminal. Similar than V0 is the output terminal. So, we have a dotted line of triangle over here, right? So, this is the equivalent circuit of your operational amplifier which is constituting one input resistance Ri along with the gain AOL into VD, where VD is the difference between two input voltages, okay, where R0 is the output resistance. V0 equation is V0 is equal to AOL into VD, where AOL is the open loop gain, okay. So, this is the equivalent circuit of your operation amplifier students. So, listen, regarding the ideal case, if V1 is equal to 0, output V0 is 180 degree out of phase with the input signal V2. If your V2 is equal to 0 means the output is in phase with the input signal applied at V1. So, these are the two important points you must remember. Okay. So, <clears throat> next one, we are going to see about some of the characteristics. What are the characteristics? Uh, 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 characteristics uh, that the ideal op-amp is having. We are going to see that now. So, whenever we are considering the ideal op-amp, uh, the open loop gain value is AOL, that is equal to infinity, and the input impedance value Ri is equal to infinity, output impedance R0 is equal to 0, and the bandwidth VW is equal to infinity, 0 offset, that is V0 is equal to 0 when V1 is equal to V2 is equal to 0. So, these are the constants we must remember regarding the ideal op-amp. So, it can be seen that an ideal op-amp draws no current at both the input terminals. That is, I2 is equal to I1 is equal to 0 because it is an ideal case. That's why we are saying that I1 is equal to I2 is equal to 0. Because of the infinite input impedance, any signal source can drive it and there is no loading on the proceeding driver stage. So, this is an important point you must remember. And since the gain value is equal to infinity in this ideal stage, the voltage between the inverting and non-inverting terminal, that is the differential input voltage, that is VD. What is VD? V1 minus V2. It is essentially zero for a finite output voltage V0. Since the gain is infinity, the voltage between the inverting and non-inverting terminal, that is the differential input voltage. What is differential input voltage? VD. That VD is equal to V1 minus V2. That is essentially kept to zero for a finite output voltage. 
the output what we are getting no that is v not is independent of the current drawn from the output as r not is equal to zero okay so the output thus can drive an infinite number of other devices that point also we must remember so whenever we are considering the physical amplifier uh, it is not an ideal one we must think physical amplifier means it is not at all the ideal case that time what are all the uh, assumptions we have taken in the beginning that that won't be applicable we must remember that so regarding the physical amplifier uh, the equivalent circuit of an op amp has to be drawn by considering aol is not equal to infinity r1 is not equal to infinity and r0 is not equal to infinity we have to carry those conditions regarding the physical amplifier ideal amplifier and physical amplifier is not at all same we must remember that okay see operational amplifier is a voltage controlled voltage source and aol dd is the equivalent permanent voltage source and r0 is the permanent equivalent resistance we are correlating the equivalent circuit of the operational amplifier with a permanent circuit okay so the equivalent circuit why we are going for the equivalent circuit what is the necessity actually so the equivalent circuit is useful in analyzing the basic operating principles of the op amp so the output from that equivalent circuit is the output voltage v not is equal to aol into vd which is equal to aol into v1 minus v2 because vd is a differential differential output voltage that is difference between two inputs so v1 minus v2 so the equation shows that the op amp amplifies the difference between the two input voltages so for this ic741 we are giving two inputs v1 and v2 so the difference between those two uh, voltages will be amplified so the amplification is completely depending upon the gain value only that point also we must remember okay so we have learned uh, some of the uh, basics we have learned some of the basics which is related to operation amplifier today uh, and uh, we have studied about the symbolic representation and what are all the basic manufacturers and what are all the uh, points are related to the ideal characteristics of the op amp all those things we have come across today so surely you will be getting uh, some of the uh, inputs uh, related to the operation amplifier students uh, so Uh, thank you so much uh, thank you so much for your cooperation uh, meet you in the uh, next video thank you so much